artificial intelligence is highly valued in Japan. There has been a lot of growth of smart services such as unmanned hotels and unmanned supermarkets as well as deploying modern intelligent robots for distribution. What are the functions of these robots? Will their existence lead to a reduction in job opportunities? In today's video, we are going to talk about Japan and the release of fully performing female robots. Erika Meet Erika, the female android laughing robot that is designed to make artificial intelligence more emphatic. It offers human-like interaction and is one of the manufacturer's most lifelike creations. The humanoid robot can detect when someone is laughing, and the robot can also decide whether to laugh in return. And it reciprocates this with either a giggle or a chuckle. Creepy or ingenious? Erika has wet lips, glittering eyes, and artificial skin. Let's imagine it's the weekend and you go on a trip to see your grandma who lives all alone. When you reach her place, you can hear a voice and realize she has another visitor and you hear the two of them laughing. Well, you might not make anything of it until you eventually walk in to discover that the guest sitting across the dining table with grandma is a humanoid robot and it's laughing at your grandma's joke. It is supported by researchers at Kyoto University in Japan who are in the process of teaching a humanoid robot how to effectively laugh in response to a human laughing. The robot, called Erika, can detect when a person is laughing, can also decide whether it's okay to laugh in return or not, and effectively respond with two kinds of laughs. One is a small chuckle and the other a more boisterous giggle. Erika sounds more natural and you would rarely think it's a robot. Think of a modern-day robot and you will likely think it with tedious tasks like harvesting vegetables on a vertical farm, stacking bulky boxes in a warehouse, or unclogging your pipes. But with a distinct domestic robot industry that's aimed at hitting 19 billion by 2027, more complex, modern, and emphatic robots have entered the picture. For instance, Illy Q is designed to tackle every loneliness among the elderly, and all these creators say it can stimulate patients with Alzheimer's or dementia. With Erica too, empathy was vital. One of the study's authors, Devish Lala, says, One of the ways we show how we understand emotion or understand a situation is through laughter. Studies have also shown that when a person imitates what another is doing, the act, referred to as mirroring, can build a powerful rapport between the two people. In this scenario, Erica was trained to mirror a human's laugh, and it can also bond with people. The scientists collected data from more than 80 dialogues between the robots and male university students, which were earlier operated remotely by four female actors. These dialogues were later analyzed, and several laughs were classified as social, like the type where you laugh because you want to be polite or because you're very embarrassed. Another was classified as mirthful, similar to that genuine giggle when a close friend cracks a good joke. The scientists effectively trained the algorithm to differentiate the basic characteristics of different types of laughs, like a quieter titter when one is being polite, to mirror them. If you assume every laugh is equal, you're going to respond to everything, but if you respond to nothing, it's also embarrassing, says Lala. If a robot can distinguish between the two, it's a useful finding. However, on its own, the laughing algorithm is limited. But if it is integrated with features like natural language processing and back-channeling, you might finally end up with a conversational robot that will assist older people to fight any social isolation or, as Lala demands, teach social skills to all neurodiverse people. If they talk with a robot, maybe they can practice laughing at the right time. But you gotta be careful with this, you don't want to be relying too much on the robot, he later cautions. It's good to know that none of this has anything to do with real humor. Erica will not discern your corny mom jokes from your witty pun. Well, not yet. The algorithm was not designed to process the meaning of words, only laughs, Koji Ayuni, the lead author of the study says. Erica doesn't understand the kind of sense of humor, but if she reacts to the user's laugh, maybe the user feels like she understands something. Next up, the research team intends to add different types of laughs to Erica's portfolio and then connect her capability to process language with her capacity to laugh accordingly, so Erica could decide what's hilarious and what is not based on the meaning of the words. The target is to create a human-like interaction, a fully conversational robot with a very silly sense of humor. 
Make sure you subscribe to this channel and give this video a like if you are enjoying the content. The Actroid Woman These are artificial intelligence interactive robots that can detect and comprehend speech and respond. The Actroid Woman is a groundbreaking type of real machine that is considered similar to the machines known as gynoids or androids in science fiction novels which have been attributed to fictionist robots until now. Actroid F telepresence robots can imitate speaking, blinking, and breathing, as well as many other important functions. Also, the reply models are not only interactive, they are artificially intelligent robots that can detect and understand speech and respond uniquely. So, in Japanese robotics, they have arrived at ultra-hyper-realistic facial movement. They are also analyzing the smallest nuances such as faint frowns, little grins, and right and left glances. While few may be taken into consideration, a lot of people have innate anxiety about non-living things moving in human-like forms, a phenomenon called the uncanny valley. Robot Wife in Japan, a fully modern, functional wife robot has been created. The price, which is reported to be $345,000, could put you off because it is expensive. On the other hand, the underground corporation exploits it as a source of self-funding. Well, a million dollars can be paid for just one robot, but no one will be able to buy it. You will only purchase it when you have been invited to do so. Saying lovely things, cooking, doing housework, cleaning, and even bearing kids in an artificial womb are all things it can do. A lot of people believe it could be the end of women's rights. With about a million dollars in training and a salary of about $45,000, it will take a long time before people begin to lose their employment. Nobody compares to the high level of robots that are developed in Japan, and despite China being about 10 years behind in robotics, we have now seen a model able of doing practically everything a person can accomplish. The robot may be utilized to load things onto shelves in several supermarkets, although at first, the model needs someone to sit behind the screen. Initially, the company's main intention was to rent out these robots rather than sell them to warehouses. The Model T exemplifies the Japanese industry's capability to make such a machine. You'll be amazed to learn that Japan was the first to begin the notion of utilizing robots to make pancakes in the year 2009 when the internet was just introduced and all technologies were still in their infancy.